Fines herbs French, fin, zb, designates an important combination of herbs that forms a mainstay of French cuisine. The canonic fines herbs of French haute cuisine comprise finely chopped parsley, chives, tarragon, and chervil. These are employed in seasoning delicate dishes, such as chicken, fish, and eggs, that need a relatively short cooking period. They may also be used in a beurre blanc sauce for seasoning such dishes. Fines herbs are also eaten raw in salads. Topic: The classic mixture. In 1903, the renowned chef Auguste Escoffier noted that dishes labeled O fines herbs were sometimes being made with parsley alone. In his culinary guide, Escoffier insisted that it is a mistake to serve under the name omelet O fines herbs, an omelet in which chopped parsley furnishes the only aromatic note. This error is too widespread for us to hope to overturn it. Nevertheless, it should be stressed that an omelette aux fines herbs must contain, parsley, chives, and a little chervil and tarragon. Thirty-five years later, under the entry, Fines Herbs, the authoritative Larousse Gastronomique of 1938 conceded that, generally speaking, an omelette aux fines herbs was still most frequently being seasoned only with chopped parsley, but repeated Escoffier's admonition that it ought to contain a combination of fragrant herbs such as, parsley, chervil, tarragon, and also chives." For in former times this was the traditional practice la ancienne, when, to the aforementioned herbs, chopped mushrooms, and even truffles, would be added. Julia Child also echoes Escoffier, "...a mixture of fresh parsley, chives, tarragon, and chervil is called fines herbs." While Alan Davidson, author of The Oxford Companion to Food, identifies chopped fresh parsley as the minimalist basis of the fines herbs mix, with the addition of any or all of chervil, tarragon, chives, noting that the number of different herbs to be used is far from fixed. Food scientist Harold McGee's definition, on the other hand, limits the number of fines herbs to tarragon, chervil, chive, and omits parsley altogether. McGee also recommends that the herbs be finely chopped using a sharp knife rather than a food processor, since food processors slice into herbs and introduce a lot of air and therefore aroma-altering oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Substitutions A living tradition, such as cooking, is always subject to variation and recreation. For example, in his memoirs, the late Pierre Franey, former chef at Le Pavillon and longtime New York Times columnist, vividly recalled his trepidation when as an teenaged apprentice chef, he was ordered to prepare a simple omelette aux fines herbs, three eggs, chervil, parsley, tarragon, chives, the first omelette I was assigned to prepare for paying guests, after a considerable amount of practicing on others. In his anxiety he almost spoiled the dish. Yet, in his accompanying recipe for Americans printed in the same book, Franey substitutes basil for the chervil, doubtless because especially in the United States, chervil, unless home-grown, can be virtually impossible to obtain when fresh and is virtually worthless when dried. As noble herbs In general, definitions of the fines herbs group in American cookbooks have tended to be somewhat elastic. James Beard's Fireside Cookbook, 1949, for example, contains a recipe for what he calls a fines herbs bowl, a dip featuring chopped parsley, chives, dill, chopped green pepper, and salt, mixed into a pint of sour cream. In his subsequent discussion of salad herbs, Beard lists, one, tarragon, the most pleasant salad herb. Use the fresh if you can. 2. Chervil, which he calls delicate and subtle. 3. Fresh dill, which Beard recommends especially for salads containing cucumber or cabbage, and 4. Sweet basil, a, a natural complement to tomatoes. Beard identifies these four herbs tarragon, chervil, dill, and basil as the noblest of the salad herbs, noting parenthetically, however, that some people like to use a little thyme or rosemary. Finally, the basis of the French fines herbs lineup, parsley, although not one of Beard's aforementioned noble salad herbs, yet adds much to many salad mixtures, although in a green salad it has perhaps less place. 
Oddly, in this discussion of salad herbs, Beard omits chives altogether, though earlier, on page 16 he had called chives, welcome in practically any dish, enhances other flavorings. <laughs> Versus robust herbs The «fines herbs» are sometimes contrasted with the more pungent or resinous «robust herbs» that appear in a bouquet garni and which, unlike fines herbs, release their flavor in long cooking. However, there is some inconsistency and overlap in terminology. Notes <laughs> <laughs>